previously on Family Business. Hey, there's a lot of like important people here to see you. Eli for three! Oh. Hopefully we're locked in for the playoffs. It's the first playoff game of the OC playoffs and we play the Cold Hearts. Stakes are for this game, whoever wins this goes to the finals, so it's really, if you lose, you go home. The vibe right now is really kill, you know, uh, Cold Hearts and us kind of have a little rivalry. It's definitely want revenge after the season finale when we beat them and the two times before that. We're at Eli's first playoff game against the Cold Hearts. I come to support them every day. Every time they have a game, I'm sitting there for a row. Super cool just seeing my older brother out there playing with a bunch of NBA players on the biggest stage. You got Rob, the Thompson Twins, Eli, of course. Crazy, the talent level of these guys. Eli went to proof player, it was crazy. He started off not really knowing what his role was on the team. He just kept working and he really showed everybody that he can be one of the best players in the whole league. After this season, people think I'm legit now. I've proven it the whole second semester. We are ready for tip-off game one of the OTE semifinals from OTE Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. This place is loud, and here we go. He says too small. Start of the first quarter and both teams are really just straight at buckets. And the honey tip. Caught the ball on a fast break, was dribbling down the court, looked at the left side of my eye and saw Trey there, so I just threw it up to him. The beautiful feed and the beautiful finish. Hey, come on! Hey, come on! If he drives, you just stay here, here. He picked up his dribble, we fed out from there. Up right now, on the dead ball, hey, here we go. Trey Parker's going the other way. Ralph wants it back. That's Malik Bowman. And that's Yuli. And the finish, the spin. That was a tough bucket. It's a playoff, so it was high energy. Everybody was yelling, screaming, dunking. It was very high intensity. Three seconds left. Rob going the other way. The intensity and the environment is crazy. These guys, they really want to win. The regular season, it's intense, but when you get to the playoffs, it's a whole nother level. Oh, oh my goodness! Hey, you can't win. Ryan, you're going to find Eli's man. Drive him to the hole, or you're spraying it outside. Hey, let's go, man. Fish on three. One, two, three. I'm really kind of coming into my full form at the end of the season. Eli is just having an unbelievable year. I just learned a lot in the past year. Now I'm more comfortable in the playoffs. Rob Dillingham and the beautiful. Rob. Oh, what? Yo! Rob Dillingham! Yo. Rob, we grew up together in Hickory, North Carolina, so I've known him my whole life. Rob, back to work. Yo! He was going off. We couldn't stay in front of him. He was knocking down shots, hitting floaters. One person is not a team. Come over here, bro. Yeah, he's somebody from the Cold Hearts that could really carry them to a win. And that will do it. Cold Hearts storm back. They are up one going into the second half, and Coach Leto was pissed. Why do you think I put this up? Because I knew that we're choosing being drunk on your f***ing emotions. If somebody want to get pissed off, get pissed off at why f we can't grab Rob Dillingham. Why can't we guard him one-on-one? -on -one? Our emotions allowed him to do that. Do and be who you are. Nothing more, nothing less. Reapers on three. One, two, three. Reapers. Boy, do we have a good game on our hands. That's Rob going to work. The floater connects. Going into the second half, Rob's still killing. You gotta cook him. And Nas Cunningham is not playing around. You gotta watch the game. I can watch it. You can't get the people in face and talk shit. You know, it's getting pretty intense in here. Bryson Taylor, all rejected. John Jackson, rejected. Ted, if you raise, knock this down, Ted. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rob with the ball on oh, the string. Oh, John man. Walker, take a oh. hit. Oh. Walker. Hey, this seems 
seems like the biggest the City Reapers have ever been down the whole season. The Cold Hearts go up nine, and I got to get back in the game and make something happen. I don't know if I'm coaching the f***ing Cold Hearts or the Reapers, because whatever I say, we're going to do the f***ing opposite. I come back in with like nine minutes to go on the fourth, and we go on a run. Two baskets, defense, run, bend, score. My role in the fourth is really just do all the little things, rebound, steals, play defense, while the Twins get all the buckets. There we go, Amen Thompson. And then we're guarding Rob, trap Rob, I get a steal, it starts going out of bounds, I throw it to Amen, he goes up and dunks it. And Eli Ellis, the save, and the finish. And the City Reapers on a 10-0 run. I had eight or so points, I'm not really scoring as much, but I'm doing all the little things to get us back in the game. Kicking, Amen. Price. He said it's not over yet. Job and the finish. You know, now it's just prime time playoff basketball. Drives, finishes. Tyler Smith in the corner. Oh my goodness! Tyler Smith with a huge three. One point game. Relax. Next play. Next play. Every possession matters. Minute left. Whoever takes this game has a real cushion moving on forward in the playoffs. Asar, Trey. Close it in the fourth, and the Twins are starting to take over. Go time. A man to a star. And they kind of just carried it to the end. Rob to Bryce. Stripped. Thompson's going the other way. A man. A man and Rob exchanging some words. An intense, intense game one here at OTE Arena. We got the win, you know. We just realized that if we do what we're supposed to do, the Cold Hearts can't beat us. That will do it for game one. City Reapers 104, Cold Hearts 97. So now, next game, we win, Cold Hearts go home, and we'll move on to the finals. Great win, I'm telling you, it's gonna be worse on Friday. You know why? Because I have this feeling that it's gotta go three games. And the only people that can change that is the people in this room. It ain't the guy referees, it ain't the cold hearts, it ain't the fans, it's us. Leto, he was saying, he let the league go a little bit because we let the motions get the best of us. We got to show some more maturity on Friday. All right, let's go. But if we just stay strong and don't let that happen again, we'll win it all. It's just really cool seeing Eli and them get close to the finals. It's the next day, we're on the way to Tennessee for one of my games. But before, we stopped to watch Abraham, my little brother's game first. Abe's out here trying to get buckets. Oh! Learn to play hard, eh? It's really important to support family because it just means a lot when somebody's there to watch you. What are you changing this username to? Abraham. <laughs> Abraham is crazy. Abraham, nickname I came up with. He's him. His name's Abraham. Abraham. Kind of a bucket, you know, left hand shooter. <gasps> yeah, Abraham can shoot it. He shoots the ball every time though. He doesn't pass. That man shot 15 times in a row and the coach over there yelling at him. They must not know who we are, man. Ellis is. We don't pass. Abraham, hit the gritty when you make a shot. It's not about the points, it's about the celebration. That's the main thing we taught him. Scoring is good, but the dances, the celebrations, that's really the most important thing for kids his age. Abe is him. We just arrived to Chattanooga for our last tournament before Big Shots Nationals. It's the Dr. Pepper Invitational. It's a really big tournament. There's going to be a lot of good competition. This Moravian team is definitely top five we've had in the history of the program. We just play really well as a team. You know, we have fun. Everybody likes each other. Everybody's cool with each other. We just really have a different type of bond as a team. Hey, listen, they don't believe they can beat you. Don't give them any reason to believe that. So you're more prepared to play harder and shoot better. You do everything better. Don't give them any reason to believe. Hey, we're not three. One, two, three, win. versus Hamilton Heights, you never really know when somebody's gonna go off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lay, 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 lay. There's just been different games where people step up. You know, some games, Tilly goes off. Hit it, Tilly. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Some games, Graham. Hit it, Graham. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Steve. Hit it, Steve. Oh yeah, side step guy. Woo. Best player in Moravian at the moment is definitely Jordan. Good, and one. 
Hey, that's how you can compete, Jordan. The first time we played them earlier in the season, they kind of kept it close, but this time it wasn't even a game. Yeah, yeah. And we were just hitting threes. On his head. Getting to the rim. You know, we just played a really good game overall. From start to finish. It was really just a blowout. Came out and dominated, showing why we're one of the best programs out there. OT playoffs are still going, but Isaac and them still have one more slate of games, so I have to decide to show up and support them. Whenever I can, I'm always traveling with Moravia, and I love watching them play and just being around those guys. Even though me and Neil are hooping at different places, we still like to have that family time with each other. In between games, we're training little kids, taking pictures, fun doing all that, just seeing all the kids that look up to you. Anytime we go to Tennessee, the love is crazy. You know, got a lot of supporters from there. I was on my phone like this. I was sitting, so they're above me. This one kid wanted me to sign something, and they couldn't come down. How many people were up there, this y'all? So they would drop his phone case. So I dropped phone case, sign him. As soon as I signed it, I had like five more kids just start throwing stuff at me from the top. It was insane. The kids were wild. Same game against McCallie. Oh, shit. Move it. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, that hurt. You know, that was a home team, so they brought a crowd out. That was one of their biggest games of the year. People want to come out and watch us play just because we play so much different than your typical high school or national team. You know, we shoot probably 50, 60 threes a game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good pass, boy. Play pass, I'm sorry, one, two, three, play pass. pass. We just play really fast. And one rep. Go, go, go. We kind of started off slow. Pick it up. Hit it, hit it, see. Yes, sir. Damn, I mean, we can play pretty bad. All right, let's go. Let's go start ball. It was a close game going into the second quarter, but then we really just came out and put on a show for all the people. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey. Yep. And what? Eli's out there supporting us, helping us coach on the bench, hyping the guys up, and they're just doing their thing right now. Take over there, huh? Oh, and what? Lay that girl. Lay that girl. Stop that, boy. Isaac, you know, he's also doing really good without me on the team, scoring, being a leader. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to throw it to the wing. Whatever wing I throw it to, I'm playing. Good pass. I think people are starting to recognize that I can lead the team without Eli here. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Woo! Hey! We won by like 35, 40. Hey! We're just a rolling force, and I think we can go into prep nationals and win it. Hey! 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 Yeah, I think they are ready for the playoffs. They're going to have a good chance of winning it. On the next episode of Family Business. It's the end of our season from Moravian. We're heading into prep nationals. We're getting ready to play quality education. Oh yeah, it's definitely a big test. We can guard them, they can't guard us. Remember that. It's getting tense in here, the body's flying, I'm ending up on the floor. We see their coaches, they're starting to lose it and it's getting heated. We're at semifinals right now. Since we were first in the league, we got a bye. So we're in the second round playing against Cold Hearts. Cold Hearts definitely have a lot of pressure on them. They lose this game, they go home. So it could get very interesting. We are in for a great game. Here we go. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.